I'm with Noelle Pikes Pace, who competes in the skeleton, hoping to make it to 2010 in Vancouver. Now, how does one discover that they're talented at throwing themselves down an ice tunnel head first? Trial and error, <laughs> you know? You had a pretty bad experience with a bobsled back in, in 2005. Mm -hmm. What happened? So, um, it was at our Olympic trials for 2006 for the Games. A couple girls went down, I went down, and we're waiting at the bottom of the track up in Calgary, Canada. Well, while we're waiting um, for this other girl to come down on her sled and waiting for the truck to pick us up, we heard a loud noise and we're like, you know, that doesn't sound like a skeleton sled, it just sounds too big and too loud. And also we turned and we looked and, and over our shoulder we could see a four-man bobsled. They came flying out of the end of the track and, and hit us. I ended up breaking my leg because of it. So uh, that was just a couple months before the Olympics and um, instantly, you know, I tried to jump to my feet and my, it's kind of gross, but my, my bones were sticking out of my legs. So oh, <laughs> I was, I know, sorry. <laughs> After tons of rehab, um, six weeks later I was back in Europe competing because of the two races that I had missed from breaking my leg. I didn't have enough points, so I was named as, um, I was the USA number two, and they only allowed one to go, so it was pretty hard, it was pretty hard, but like I said, everything happens for a reason, and I'm, it, maybe it, it, gives, it has given me more drive for Vancouver, you know? You sometimes write things on your sled, <laughs> yeah, don't you? I do. <laughs> what are some of the sayings? This is for people to be able to see, both spectators and people on TV can read it. Yeah, it's on yeah. the top of your sled. Yeah, yeah. What are the, some of the things that you've written? First of all, the reason I do that is just, I, like a lot of people, a lot of athletes, when they compete, they have to be like very focused and very serious. And I actually like to just see people like having a good time, seeing them smile and laugh and waving and stuff before I go. And at World Championships, we had all these elementary schools come up and cheer us on. So we have, you know, kids that are from kindergarten to sixth grade. And, and on my yoga mat, I put, uh, it's impossible to lick your elbow. <laughs> and like, you know, just well, ran I just like random things. And so like I'm standing at the line and you can see like a ten all these 10 year olds are like sitting here trying to like lift their <laughs> elbow and like everybody's like, what? And they're like, I'll try it. I just start like busting up laughing. And finally, what are you looking forward to in 2010? I'm looking forward to opening ceremonies. I think that's probably the biggest thing is just walking in with the red, white, and blue flag and being a part of something so much bigger than just me. We hope to see you throwing yourself down an <laughs> ice tunnel sometime soon. Thanks. Thank you so much for talking to us. Thank you so much. I'm Ella Morton and you've been watching Rocket Boom.